Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller blog. Today is Saturday, um, June 1st, the first of a new month. We made it through May, now we're on to June. Been busy this morning, uh, kind of a lazy morning. For those of you who are new to the channel, uh, my name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller. I've got two eBay stores, over 6,000 items listed online. And this channel kind of tells you about the ins and outs of the business. I tell you what was selling. I tell you what we, what we got listed. And of course, I tell you what we're buying and trying to flip for big money. And uh, today has been kind of one of those lazy days. I did a video the other day having an unmotivated day. Today is more of a lazy day. I think there's definitely a difference between lazy and unmotivated. When you have an unmotivated day, you might sit in front of the computer and just not get anything done, but you're making an effort. When you have a lazy day, you kind of leave the computer and you uh, go take a nap, you go uh, do this or do that, uh, anything related, unrelated to uh, reselling, you know, sticking to the task at hand. I think that's the difference between a, a successful uh, reseller and one who is not, is they have too many lazy days, right? You can have an unmotivated day where you don't get as much accomplished as you'd hoped. But when you string together those lazy days, um, that's where you get into trouble. For me, I allow a lazy morning or two, but then I try to turn things around, and that's what I'm trying to do. We had a lazy morning, uh, went and played cards last night, uh, woke up a little bit uh, lazy. I didn't get much done this morning. I just edited a, a YouTube video, and now this afternoon I'm turning my efforts into uh, putting some time into reselling again, right? Trying to turn around that uh, lazy moment and uh, make myself a little bit more motivated to get things accomplished. And I've done a little bit of that. I packed up an order that came into the small store. I listed a couple items into the small store. Now I'm turning my attention to the big store. We did have a pretty good sale that came out of the big store, but it's been pretty slow. Uh, let me show you what sold. Here it is, one sale for $52.43, $52.43. We woke up to this. What sold? These sold once before and retur were returned uh, this time around. Uh, hopefully that sale will stick there. A pair of Pearl Azumi X-Road Fuel 4 road bike cycling shoes men's size 47 european which is at 12.5 us sometimes when you have that european sizing and uh, you're kind of guessing the u.s size uh, sometimes people uh, try them on and they don't fit so i think that's what happened last time it just has that european sizing 47 there which is uh, typically a 12 and a half so we put both sizes on there, but uh, sometimes people see that 47 and they say, hey, that's not my size. Those are those cycling shoes that you snap into the pedals. It makes it a little bit easier to stay on the bike and uh, get a little bit more uh, traction when you're uh, cycling. More of a uh, professional shoe that um, cyclists wear on a professional road bike. Through the magic of video, I've located the shoes. We're going to get the shipping label printed and add them to the tote. Right there, the Pearl Azumis, and here comes the label for them. Let's get it on there. All right, we got a tote slowly filling up with orders. Let's uh, add another pair of shoes to the mix there. Starting to fill up this weekend of sales. So now that we got that order packed up, let me go ahead and show you guys what we got listed this morning so far into the big store. Right here. Here's the last eight listings. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that I was working on those uh, DVDs. I got a bunch of those listed. And this was the pair of LeBron James shoes that we got up. Um, posted those up for quite a bit of money, $149.97. They're uh, about to go on sale. I'm going to mark this store 20% off, try to get some of these sales uh, coming in. But I also listed a couple um, other items, this pair of um, uh, Raiders sweatpants, NFL Raiders sweatpants. Those are women's sweatpants, and over here is a brand new uh, dress shirt, new panhandle slim. That's a pearl snap two pocket dress shirt. So we're slowly getting back into list mode after a lazy morning. Uh, that's kind of what you got to do. You got to kind of force yourself to do it, and uh, I think that's what I'm going to do again is get the rest of these DVDs listed, and then, like I said, we're going to mark the store 20% off. Try to get those sales flowing in. Uh, sometimes that's what you have to do is just kind of force the issue with eBay. Uh, Mark things on sale, post new items, and uh, people will take notice. Uh, we did have that big shoe sale, so we're not completely skunked yet this morning, but uh, sales have been slow. So uh, I guess it's just a lazy Saturday for everybody, so uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. So I was thinking about this in a little bit more detail and decided to do a Google search, right? What's the difference between being unmotivated and lazy? It says, unlike laziness, being unmotivated is more like a source or cause, whereas being lazy is the vis visible symptom. 
because of this being unmotivated can cause you to feel lazy a cause and effect though it's unlikely to for you to feel lazy without feeling unmotivated you can feel unmotivated and still complete tasks so that's what we were feeling the other day a little bit unmotivated we were completing tasks like they said but um, you still have that feeling uh, lazy is different um, so we can uh, go through life a little bit unmotivated and still accomplish things I think that is important as a reseller you know when you have that feeling that the overwhelming unmotivated feeling you don't feel like doing much you, know, you don't give into that laziness the symptom um, you gotta just keep on task as much as possible and let that uh, unmotivated feeling kind of exist but still get stuff done. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get some stuff done. I'm gonna try to list these DVDs next and then we'll get in the photo station and find some fresh inventory. I'm also hoping to get some exercise in today. It's about almost five o'clock now so I gotta be quick about it. Uh, get some of these uh, DVDs online and then we'll finish up the rest when I get home. Alright I got about five uh, DVDs listed. We got three more to go but I'm gonna take a little break and head over to Lake Padden get a little run in uh, try to test the old knee out again see how it feels today it was uh, it responded pretty good after the last run so I think it's coming around but uh, it has been a couple weeks that I uh, haven't been able to run regularly so we'll see how things go today it's a little sprinkle out today but we'll get out there and make the most of it and uh, hopefully things will be nice over there. All right, we made it here to Lake Pad, and I forgot to get a little shot of the sign as I drove in, but uh, we're gonna get out on that trail. We're gonna get that 2.6 miles in, and uh, I'll check in once I get back and let you know how things go. All right, we made it uh, successful 2.6 around Lake Padden. Uh, walked the first uh, quarter mile and then ran the rest of the way, got up into those horse trails, and the leg was uh, good enough to make it the whole way, so, I guess I got to be thankful for um, the moment. You know, you got to live in that moment, live in the now. And today's now was pretty good. Was able to uh, get that 2.6, let's call it 2.5, around Lake Patton without stopping. So uh, the tendon in my knee held up for today. We'll see how it feels tomorrow, but uh, be grateful for the progress I'm making with my health. So while I was out there, I was thinking, you know, what am I grateful for? Obviously, I was going to talk about uh, the legs holding up and all that. Uh, that was primarily what was on my mind, you know, making sure I made it through. Uh, sure, my legs were a little bit uh, weaker uh, than previously since I hadn't run uh, full force for the last couple weeks. But um, they were able to hold out and uh, make it through pretty strong. That last half mile, I was able to uh, run past a group of uh, either wedding goers or uh, maybe senior prom. It appeared to be some young folks dressed in uh, fancy tuxes and dresses and... Uh, was uh, taking up the whole trail. I was able to go by them. They say, sorry, runner, you know, but uh, just a reminder, you know, they got to be uh, um, living the now as well. You know, you think back on your days as a youngster and those moments you had um, in big moments like that where you get dressed up and you're looking your best and, uh, you know, 30 years later you think, man, that was good times. You know, they probably don't realize it, you know, but those are probably, you know, some of the best days of their lives. You know, they're looking their best, they're feeling their best. You know, here I am struggling to run the 2.5 around Lake Patton and they're out there full of exuberance, you know, looking like a, a million bucks all dressed up and, uh, you know, still kind enough to step out of the way of old runner coming through. So, uh, they got to make the most of those moments, you know, hopefully they take time to uh, make the right decisions tonight. Hopefully they don't uh, worry too much about uh, who they're taking to the dance or the wedding and they just enjoy each other's company. Seems like sometimes, you know, when you're in the moment, you're in uh, a group like that, uh, you know. Last night we played uh, cards with some friends we hadn't got together for about five years. And you got together and you saw some old faces, some new faces join the crowd and uh, lives have changed, you know, this and that have happened. And, uh, you know, they're different, but that energy is there, that, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's probably love, uh, friendship. Um, and you see everybody joking, everybody laughing like that, and uh, sometimes you forget to take a moment to uh, reflect on how important that is to enjoy those moments to the fullest. You know, you see some folks who have made some progress with their health and, you know, you commend them on that and, uh, you know, you remind them, that, you know, you can change things around, you know, if you live an unhealthy lifestyle for, you know, a decade, you can uh, change things around and, you know, close out your final years with uh, great health and uh, make the most of those moments. 
Sometimes it's just about making those little decisions, you know, those correct decisions, you know. We talked earlier about, uh, in my uh, vlog, about uh, lazy versus unmotivated, you know. You can have a lazy morning, but, uh, you know, if you're unmotivated, you can still achieve quite a bit. And um, it's okay to have those feelings and uh, let them linger for a little while, you know, they come and go. So, have those moments. Today I was thinking, you know, what decision am I going to make that will benefit my health? You know, I could stay in the house, I could work another few hours, have dinner, go to bed, or I could run over to Lake Patton, get a nice run in, and uh, take care of my health, you know, after uh, overindulging a little bit last night, eating too much, having lots of sugar, having lots of desserts. You know, sometimes you got to take a moment to have a lazy morning and let your body relax and then go back at it full force again and uh, choose to have those moments of uh, good energy. I keep telling people, you know, you can have great progress in small bursts like that. You know, I'm not one that uh, can really focus for long periods of time, but I can have those uh, productive bursts, you know, where I edit a bunch of photos and put some art out to the world, or I get a bunch of listings up and uh, make some progress on the business, or I pack up a bunch of orders, you know. comes in little spurts, you know. Uh, you have the eight-hour day, but uh, the life of a reseller is a little bit different. Uh, you got to make the most of those little spurts of energy that you get in life. Sometimes it's just simple as uh, choosing to be a little bit motivated, you know. You can be unmotivated and get out there on the trail, and uh, you get that fresh air flowing through you and all of a sudden you find a little bit of motivation, you know, you find a little burst of energy that takes you around the lake all without stopping. You know, the runner's world, they always talk about, you know, how do you run a marathon one step at a time, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, you know, there's a, a million different analogies, but it's all true, you know, it takes that first moment, that first decision that you have to make. So I guess for today we're living in this moment. I'm feeling pretty good about the decision I made to come out here and uh, I'm going to make another good decision and head home, uh, get some more work done, uh, list the rest of those DVDs, take some more photos of some inventory and prepare for a productive Sunday. We'll see what we can get accomplished, see if some bursts of energy uh, return on Sunday or if the lazy day is back again. Uh, usually the weekends are a little bit tough for me, uh, getting motivated, but... Um, We'll find some uh, way to get some work done one way or another. I always do. So hopefully all you resellers out there in the world who watch this and are, are struggling with your own business, building a little side hustle, whatever you're doing, you can find some inspiration in knowing that, uh, you know, full-time resellers go through it as well, you know. I have 6,000 items online. I manage that uh, week in and week out. And uh, we struggle with that. We struggle with motivation. Uh, we struggle with feeling lazy. We struggle with uh, getting those listings up and packing those orders in a timely manner. It's all part of the game. Uh, the reseller game is not an easy one. So uh, I commend all of you out there who do it. And hopefully you can get some inspiration from watching me do it day in and day out. And just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like this type of content, you can always hit that subscription button. My subscriptions are growing. I'm still chasing that 1,000 subs so I can get my uh, channel monetized. I'm close to 2,000 hours of watch time, so we need another 2,000 hours as well. So I want to thank everybody for watching this one. Sometimes I watch uh, channels uh, getting monetized, you know, they're crossing that milestone and I'm seeing, you know, the amount of videos they put out and I'm looking at the amount that I put out and I'm wondering, man, why I haven't ha I had a breakthrough that they have. But, uh, you know, like they say, you know, comparison is the thief of joy. So we're not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to keep plugging away, uh, keep uh, my eyes on the prize there, heading towards that monetization and we'll get there eventually. I think with the new month uh, starting, today is the first, we're going to kind of uh, take a look at finances and uh, consider some different options this month, see if maybe we can uh, do some more fun stuff. Maybe uh, um, I'll bring something fresh and new to the channel that you guys can enjoy watching. I know sometimes this reseller content does get a little stale, it gets a little stale for me to actually make it, so I'd, I'm sure that uh, all you out there watching it aren't uh, that excited about it day in and out, but uh, I try to keep it fresh. Keep Keep it come and keep it consistent uh, so at least you have something to watch every day. But uh, we're going to try to look at things, reassess things with the new month and uh, bring you something fresh and new this June. So I can feel the legs stiffening up a little so I think I'm going to give it a good warm down. I'm going to walk down to the lake, give you guys a look and uh, maybe go on a little walk. Try to get these old muscles loosened up a little so they don't stiffen up too much and I have uh, trouble walking tomorrow. We'll see. 
right, here's a look at the lake it's looking pretty peaceful today quiet not windy at all so uh, cloudy skies but otherwise a beautiful day for a run couldn't ask for much better the rain held off I guess we can take a second to walk over here and give you guys a look at uh, the geese they're out here uh, feeding on the grass like usual so let's go say hello there they are this one peeked up his little head he's kind of looking my way we're gonna have a little standoff here what's he up to some of them get a little bit ornery so uh, we got to keep our distance but uh, there they are doing their thing out here at Lake Padden feeding on the grass there's probably a dozen of them there's more over that way but uh, this guy is the biggest one over here I think he might be the alpha he's kind of looking at me he's got his eye on me twice now I tried to walk away and he turned his eye toward me again this guy's pretty big as well he's pretty aggressive eating over there he's going after it pretty fierce they stand right here, pretty close to the trail actually. I'm surprised they don't uh, chase after more uh, runners. I've never had them come after me though. Yeah, they do chase after each other every now and then. I guess that's where they get that term, the wild goose chase, right? Uh, when they run after each other, it's pretty comical. They nip at each other and uh, actually get pretty aggressive. So uh, I'm not sure why they do that, but it's pretty funny to watch. This group over here by the shoreline, they're kind of resting and then there's a little gosling over there right next to the water. Let's see if we can get a little closer and uh, give you guys a better look. I think I've taken photos of this uh, little gosling over here before the last time I was here. So uh, the gosling stays close to the shoreline. I noticed that. He's got his little foot back there. There he goes. Look at him take off. Getting back close to mama I guess. Yep. You guys enjoy that little look at the geese. We're gonna let them have their peace and move on down the trail, see what else we can find. So we'll walk down here, give you a different perspective at the lake here. This is kind of a nice little spot next to this tall grass here. I like this stump over here. It's a nice big stump they cut down out here. Perfect to have a little spot for fishing, except there's a lot of this tall grass here. So this is a little trail where I spotted the mama duck and the ducklings last time. Hearing some birds chirping over to the right here, but we're gonna walk down here and see if anybody is in the spot that they were last time. No, nope. appears like there's no ducks or ducklings here today. They were right there chilling out last time. Got some nice video of them. Look at those big mushrooms there on the tree. Those are pretty cool. Ooh, you hear that? Hissing at me. Alright, he's on the trail here. Who's gonna win? You gonna get out of my way or am I getting out of his? There's the cutest little bunnies that pop out of here, but I always am too slow to get a little shot of them. Maybe we can sneak around here and see one. I don't know. They're pretty quick to jump back in there, but uh, they're in there. Yeah, it looks like maintenance has done a good job of uh, trimming this back a little bit, so uh, maybe they uh, don't have as much home to live in over here. So. Uh, they're poking their heads out, getting uh, ready for spring, I guess. I always like to look at this uh, special notice, special events here. And it uh, looks like today is the Whatcom Falls Park they're having uh, com commemorate the Olympic Pipeline disaster through story and stewardship. So that was today. Up next is the COB Native Plant Nursery. Come help weed and care for the plants in our nursery as we prepare for the summer. That's on the 8th. So yeah, that big pipeline uh, tragedy, that was, uh, I've seen some video on that uh, recently. Yeah, I want to say that was shortly after I had graduated from college, which I graduated in 99, and then they had that pipeline explosion. I think two people lost their life, so it's been over, what, 35 years, I want to say. I guess that would be 25 years, that would make more sense, right? 2024, and I graduated in 99. So that's about 25 years ago that happened. It's hard to believe. I remember all the photos. You see them there on your timeline. Recently people have been posting them. So uh, those plumes of smoke and whatnot from the explosion. All right, I got home, had some dinner, and we listed those last three DVDs. Didn't do much after that, uh, but we'll start fresh in the morning. I want to thank everybody for watching this video to the very end. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscription button and ring that notification bell. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.